Hi everyone, James here. This is Progress update number one of the Dragon 135th scale SDKFZ10 LSA with the 10.5cm LE FH18 slash 40 Howitzer for the German army. I'm going to do something different this time with my um, update videos. I'm going to do a from start to finish full build uh, a video without the paint and then that's the second part doing the paint and weathering so steps one and two have now been built up that is the, the main front road wheels the Drive sprocket, the road wheels with the tracks sit on, the suspension, front suspension, lower hull, and a few bits to build up the rear on the hull. It's giving you two options for the front for rubber tyres. You can either have option one as the segmented with a different tread, and then the hub goes in the middle where you can have just the two tyre sidewalls and the hub I went for this option too I think this tread is like a cleated type bar grip one like the US Jeeps have and this is the result so far I'm really liking the Dragon kit you can tell from a Tamiya I've previously done is a 251 half track and the detail on this is so much better it's the lower part of the hall the rear so the steps three to seven have now been complete that is the the engine the the gearbox the, the fuel tank and battery boxes two arrows mean yeah, there's optional parts you can have have the small or the the large I went with the large And then last step is seven, that's the dash. Very small parts, very intricate. And this is the result so far. So that's the engine. The belts in the front was all individually glued on. It's very fiddly. It's the engine. Then the gearbox with fuel tank and battery box. There is a fight wedge part on there.
And then the last piece is the instrument panel. Or dash. It's fairly straightforward that one, but step was. Steps eight and nine have now been complete. I did leave the the engine in the gearbox. I didn't cement them down as I wanted to paint them separately before placing them in the lower hole. But the the firewall and the instrument panel have been glued into position. Again, the wheels I've left off and I'm going to paint them separately. The, the bonnet, two pieces have been left off. This, the radiator and supports, again, been left off for now. As I need to put the engine back in, storage bins have been uh, built up and a few been glued down as with the uh, the mud guards also, radiator covering that's been left off also, but the, uh, the mounting, the bulkhead mounting bit here has been glued. Yeah, the exhaust and the mud guards on the front they're being glued into position as well as the the flaps at the back with uh, some fake wedge added also so this is the result so far That's loose. As I can, if that's glued in, I won't be able to get the, the gearbox in. And then the the radiator and the the supports also. the exhaust and covering you have a storage bin on the front there Uh, back again, so sections 10 to 13 have now been uh, complete. The, the windshield, I'm going to leave again, leave that off and paint that individually as with the tools, the, the blackout lamp, and the lamps headlights have been glued on into position as with the uh, wing mirror. There's two options there. I went for the straight, straight option. I have left these off for now. I may add them. And then down here. Are the these side panels they open, and for the driver's position, I did leave that one open, and the rest closed. The number plates 
are on and then I use the photo etch for the holders and again uh, Dragon used these individual track links they call them magic tracks they were pretty straightforward this time I did buy a set for my two for five and a half track it just seemed a bit difficult doing it at the first time so this is where I'm up to now it's the uh, individual track links tracks Photo etch, number plates, and mud flaps. Side panelling with a driver's panel down. Yeah, headlights and blackout lamp, also with photo etch. Steps 14 to 20 have now been complete. That's the addition of the storage cases slash seats, the rear, uh, the soft top roof, uh, the the start, the gun breech on the. Uh, light howitzer and also the, the main barrel of it and the armor plating so this is the progress so far in the end I did add the photo wedge uh, just along here side. It's the rear of the soft top and the photo etch inside as well also. That's the main gun barrel and there's the breech block at the back. armor shield and one side with the sights and the elevation and traverse mechanism
steps 21 to 25 that's the that's the building of the main hell it's a gun you start off building the side walling for the elevation and traverse mechanisms then you move on to the the armour shield and the, the main gun itself and moving down the construction of the of the chassis if you like the, I think they're brake drums or discs and then moving down to the to the legs in the, like, the spades that dig into the ground stop it recalling uh, backwards this is the progress so far on it this is the main gun shielding the breech block it does open and close it's a bit stiff to show on camera It's the, the chassis part and the brakes. And then the, the legs. Parts do move these. I think they're, um, uh, handles for moving it into different positions they move and then the I think this is a locking mechanism when it's in when it's in transit that will hook onto there and close up I'm guessing two main legs with the completion of steps 26 and 27 that is the last last two steps of the construction of the uh, the SD KFZ 10 half track and 10 and half centimetre howitzer so the two main wheels have been added to the chassis as with the the, the hubs and then with the recoil legs they just clip onto two little pegs so you can pose it in either firing or transport position then the main gun goes onto the chassis I didn't glue that, that it's just placed on there so you can pose it again pose in left or right position and this is the results of the build there is another set of road wheels to go in the middle of there I've chose to leave them off as I'm going to paint them separate as with the gearbox the radiator is shroud and the engine also there just in there loose just to give it an idea of what it looked like so 